Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Aquarius? Hope you guys are doing amazing. <laughs> How are you guys feeling these energies? Oh my goodness. This past two weeks has been really heavy on, you know, the energy. It's like we usually sense this at the, I want to say the middle of October, even the third week of October. But for some reason, the past two weeks, I've been experiencing this heaviness of energy. It's almost like something is about to pop, something is about to unfold. But anyways, we will look into that situation in another reading. For now, let's get into your love reading, Aquarius. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of September 2021. All right, let's get into it. Your first card, Aquarius, the Tower. Oof. Eight of Swords, Princess of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, the World card. Okay, so there is definitely some type of some type of eruption that's going to be unfolding for you. I feel that for a lot of you guys, this is has already transpired, or you're going to be going through this. It's almost like a feeling of things are quickly changing and they're telling me it has a lot to do with fears. So for some of you guys, it could be dealing with the fact that you're kind of realizing that your kids are growing up, that they are having a mind of their own, that they're going to move on, that type of energy. And there is like fear of the future, fear of what is to unfold. Um, but the tower also could represent having a breakthrough and i feel that for a lot of you aquarians you have been going through that all this year um we just you know obviously this year was the beginning of the aquarian era um and there is a lot of transformation that comes with this so i feel that a lot of you guys have been experiencing a lot of a lot to do with the change of your perception of your beliefs of what you've thought you wanted up until now when we're talking about relationships when we're talking about partnerships um it's the realization of i've outgrown my old beliefs and i feel that you you guys are really struggling with this eight of swords indicates stuckness being stuck choosing here's the thing though it's like you are refusing to embrace change and for a lot of you guys it's the hesitation of habit so I'm hearing like, why do I need to go out of my way to make things happen? Why do I have to change my routine? That type of energy is what I'm sensing. So for a lot of you guys, it's the refusal to embrace a new beginning. It's like you want it, but at the same time, you kind of, you know, like you surrender and you say what's meant for me is going to be for me. Um, and in reality, that's just an excuse because you're refusing to change or you're refusing to do or be spontaneous or get out of the same routine. And I see you contemplating on, I'm tired of the same thing, or I'm tired of the same routine, but it's like you complain about it, but you're not really doing anything to change that. Now, with the princess here of pentacles, which is an indication of the page of pentacles, I feel that there is almost like you, for some of you guys, you've even gotten to a point of maybe like being a bit too much of an introvert, not, not really wanting to socialize, not really wanting to uh, expand or share your energy. Uh, and that's not necessarily a positive thing because yes, sometimes, especially for us introverts, right? <laughs> we need our time to gather our energy uh, before we're surrounded by billions of people, right? Um, I get that. But when you do this as a form of escapism, only because you're comfortable and you don't want to be uncomfortable, you don't want to get out of your comfort zone, that's a detriment and it directly impacts you in a negative way. So again, what they're telling you here is you got to shake things up. You got to open yourself up and wholeheartedly expose yourself purposely expose yourself to new beginnings so whether it's you know doing things you've never done uh going out with friends or going on a road trip or 
getting out of the same city that you're in, you have to make changes because we have the world card here. So there is an ending cycle. This ending cycle is coming from the destruction, right? Or the complete uh, breaking down barriers of what you've, your old belief system to be able to go into the next cycle in your life anewed, right? Renewed something, um, you know, the betterment of you. Uh, this is making you wiser. This is making you knowledgeable, walking with purpose, knowing what it is exactly that you want. But again, you have to put effort in that growth. Now, the cards that are representing the partner here, we have the Princess of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords. Wow. Two of Wands here. Okay. There is, I'm going to be honest with you guys. There is a lot of transformative energy surrounding you here. I'm hearing Saturn is really heavy on you guys right now. So I feel that the energy of Saturn has you guys very frustrated. You may be feeling stuck. And that could be the reason why you kind of have detached yourself um, or have chosen to be a bit detached from situations or people. But how they're viewing the situation with the page of cups here, they're open. So this is those of you guys that are in a relationship, you could be experiencing like the, the questioning, do I want to continue in this relationship? Do I want to continue putting effort in this relationship or have out have I outgrown this person? Um, and the reason for that is because you're, again, analyzing what it is that you want. And there's nothing wrong with that. So you shouldn't feel like, you know, even if you've been with the person for three years and all of a sudden you feel like responsible because you're making these questions or asking these questions, um, it doesn't matter. If, if those are questions that your soul is truly trying to find or trying to get answers for, there shouldn't be any, there shouldn't be any uh, apologies for that. And the way they're viewing the situation, they're open. There is people around you that are interested. There are people around you that are willing or even um, putting the effort to be patient with you. You may be dealing with a fire energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You may be dealing with earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And I also see here uh, Gemini, Aquarius, and uh, Libra. So because we do have here <clears throat> Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands, King of Swords, we have a lot of royal cards in regards to the person uh, that you're dealing with or your partner. So I feel very strongly that for a lot of you guys, attention is something that you're going to be experiencing. But they're also telling you, you can't sit there and complain about not having options or not having suitors when you're stuck at home watching TV or watching Netflix. You have to put yourself out there. Um, kings are always a representation of action. It is always a representation of taking the initiative. So whether you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. They're asking you, you need to take the initiative to change your life. No one can come knock on your door and completely change your life. You need to make that decision on your own and on your own alone. Um, this is all to do with taking the power or knowing the power that you possess, knowing the strengths that you have and the things that you need to work at. Um, now, when we're talking about love and romance, what they're telling you is there's a lot of suitors here. There's a lot of options that you're going to be experiencing the end of September all the way till November, November the 12th. So from now all the way to November the 12th, there's going to be almost like this energy of people popping out of the woodwork. This could be people from the past. This could be new people that are coming into your life or that are being introduced to you. They're telling you, keep your options open. Only when you feel that you guys are mentally, intellectually connecting and you feel like that spark of interest, right? Um, give yourself the opportunity to connect with people. The two of wands signifies the desire and the want to find love. So whether you're the type to say, I don't need love, I don't need a partner to be happy. I've heard it all from Aquarians. And trust me, um, I can totally relate as I do have Aquarius in my chart <laughs> heavily. Um, but again, you can be independent. You can be, you know, uh, your own person and be free 
still being in a relationship. If you find a person that shares those interests or that shares and values the need to uh, have quality time to yourself. So again, what they're telling you here is with the two of wands, and this is something that was told to you guys in the beginning of the year, uh, partnerships is going to be very important for you now all the way to the next coming three years. Um, but what they're telling you here is keep your options open, be ready, because there's a lot of opportunities for love. And if you are currently dealing with a situation where you've been uh, in a long-term committed relationship and you feel like it's come to a halt or things are not progressing, don't be surprised. They might be uh, completely transforming your life with a question if you get my drift. Um, I feel that that's for a very, very small amount of you Aquarians out there. However, uh, you've really put in the effort in this connection for those of you guys that have been in a committed relationship, like I said. So there could be an elevation um, again, with all these kings here in court cards, uh, it's very important and very crucial to understand uh, there shouldn't really be fear in commitment. Being committed or committal doesn't mean that you're boring. It doesn't mean that you have to be stuck uh, with that person not doing anything, you know, and losing your freedom. It doesn't work that way. True and genuine love is shared and it is reciprocated and it is finding the freedom knowing that you can both complement each other's lives while nurturing and keeping your individuality. So I wish you guys the very best. I hope to uh, give you guys some type of insight and we'll see each other soon. Bye.